So I was at the dollar store the other day, and I just all of a sudden became enamored by their DVD section. I was overcome with so many questions, like, why? No one really buys DVDs anymore, so these have just sort of been rotting on the shelf at my local dollar store probably for years. And I don't really know who buys them. I did. Yeah, so, um, I bought the dollar store DVDs. I tried to stick to the ones that I didn't recognize because I'm anticipating that they'll be really bad, or at least so bad it's good, and those are movies that are really fun to watch, so why not? First up on my list of movies, Poseidon Rex. Look at this. It's awful. Whatever you think the plot is going to be, you're probably right. I think the dinosaur is gonna fall in love. <laughs> Maybe not it's that. It's a rom-com. No. Has to be. So, a quick Google search yields that this film was in fact directed by Mark L. Lester, the guy who directed Commando. He started this company called Titan Global Entertainment to produce, fund, and release these movies that he makes, most of which are direct to DVD. Oh, so it looks like the website has reviews for the movie. Let's give this a look. It took me to a plain text page of the side effects of Valium. I think the assumption is that you'll need it to get through the movie. Well, the only thing left to do is watch it. So Poseidon Rex follows a group of people in Belize. Jackson Slate, a treasure hunter who's trying to retrieve ancient gold sunken in the blue hole to repay his debt to this guy Tariq. This guy, Rod, and his girlfriend... What's her face? Who are on vacation, and this scientist... Whose name I also don't remember. Rod and What's-Her-Face find Jackson out in the ocean, basically unconscious, after the guys he was illegally diving with set off charges in the blue hole, awaken Poseidon Rex, and subsequently die. This guy Henry, who runs the dives, contacts the scientist lady to help Jackson, and he decides to recruit all these people he just met to go look for the treasure with him. What's-Her-Face ends up being mad at Rod for going and stays behind, but he also chickens out and stays on the boat instead of diving. If you go on that dive, I'm gonna be really upset. How can this happen to me? They're caught by the Coast Guard and explain to them what's going on, and the Coast Guard just lets them dive. While on the dive, Jackson and the scientists find eggs and dinosaur footprints along with severed limbs. Look at the eggs! Discount Dr. Sadler and Jackson Storm go to examine the egg at the lab and pull a mini Poseidon Rex out of the egg, which is fully alive and already functioning because that's how eggs work when you crack them open prematurely. Tariq and his cronies come after Jackson, and he tricks them into getting attacked by the mini Poseidon Rex that they put in the fridge, with the beer that you drink when you're doing important science work. To learn more, we're gonna have to crack her open. Okay, you need some help with that? Oh uh, yeah, just don't break anything. Are you got any beer? Right in the fridge over there. It's your beer. Big Poseidon Rex kills this boat of people, including What's-Her-Face, who went with some guys to get Back at Rod, I guess? Oh, you'll be alright, Jane. Jane! Oh, her name's Jane. Too bad she's dead now. <laughs> they go into the ocean to try and kill Poseidon Rex. And fail, unsurprisingly. And then Poseidon Rex comes onto land and chases them, so they go to an abandoned military base to try and contact help. Jackson and the scientist have sex in the face of death, because of course they do. The army contacts them and tells them that they're gonna take care of Poseidon Rex, but our protagonists need to be off the island. But there's still people on the island, so they get the creature back in the ocean. Rod dies, like a bitch. No! Poseidon Rex has a fake out death before being shot by the scientist with a rocket launcher and actually dying. Jackson and the scientists reunite, embrace, and make reference to the eggs that are still out there. I mean the eggs. Then the movie just ends. 
Oh shit, her name is Sarah. I might have missed that. So, unsurprisingly, the muzzle flashes are bad, bullets were green at one point, Poseidon Rex looks kinda like shit, the ADR was badly done. This place is so gorgeous. What'd I tell you? This guy never blinks, and this guy died too soon. You thought he was coming out of this deal. Again! Where the gold is, and I might let your woman out. He was the best character, and he never even spoke. I don't know if you could tell, but the film also suffers from a lot of there's that shot again. It's underneath us! The stock footage in the VFX especially, it feels like they only had like three instances of every VFX shot, and they just kind of reused them every scene that they needed it. Five minutes to destiny. T minus 30 seconds. So, it's bad. But you knew it was going to be bad. That's probably exactly what you were expecting. Unfortunately, it's not so bad it's good. It's just bad. Ready? Go, go. Come on! Come on, we need more! Help me as hard and fast as I can! I suppose, on another hand, that probably is also exactly what you wanted to hear. So yeah, I watched Poseidon Rex. So you don't have to. That's 90 minutes of my life I'm never getting back.